There are hundreds of thousands of small private planes in the world, and while their overall safety record is good, it is not nearly as good as commercial airlines. Small planes are more likely to have accidents while in mid-flight, but now there's a new plane with a radical innovation designed to give a pilot a second chance. Mark Mullen explains. Last October, singer John Denver died when his small airplane crashed off the California coast. He was one of more than 600 people in the United States who died last year in small airplane accidents. The general public perception is that, boy, if something goes wrong in an airplane, you're really in trouble. But now there may be a dramatic new way for a pilot in a desperate situation to prevent a crash. A parachute for the plane. When things go wrong, you want to have one more choice, and that's what the parachute's for. A company named Cirrus Designs is marketing a small plane that comes equipped with its own parachute. It's connected by straps that rip out of the plane's fuselage as the chute opens, turning what could be a disastrous mistake into nothing more than an aerial fender bender. Problems such as running out of fuel, colliding with another aircraft, losing control in bad weather. We've tried to make sure that if things go wrong, they fail in such a way that the people survive. Though the parachute wouldn't bail a pilot out of every dangerous situation, it would solve most problems that arose above about 800 feet. All you have to do is know how to pull a handle, which activates the rocket. The rocket fires up through this cover, and within a 30th of a second, the rocket hits the cover and peels it away. The rocket comes out and starts pulling the chutes out of the box back here, and it takes only about a second and a half from the time when the pilot activates the system to when the chute starts to inflate. After about six seconds, the whole event's over and the plane is underneath canopy and floating towards the earth. Oh, oh, oh. The parachute plane has been tested in dives, spins, and regular upright flight. Its design has been certified by the Federal Aviation Administration. But to prevent expensive damage to their test planes, pilots have not ridden the parachute plane all the way to the ground. No blame release. Looks good. They've always dropped the chute and flown away after demonstrating that the system works. The company claims that a landing would be roughly equivalent to falling from a height of 10 feet. Enough to ruin the plane, but its occupants should walk away unharmed. The purpose is to save the lives and not save the airplane. To show that a parachute landing is safe, later this month the company will do a drop test, like the crash test that cars go through. Engineers will put test dummies in the plane and drop it from a height of 10 feet. If the test shows that passengers could survive such an impact, the FAA will approve the plane for sale. Well, the price of the airplane right now is 168800 By aviation standards, yeah, it's very reasonable. Cirrus Design says that parachutes would not be practical on large commercial airplanes. Well, I don't think we'll ever see the day when we have 747s with parachutes. Uh, while theoretically it could happen, that it would be so impractical that it would be uh, it would be economically unfeasible. But the company hopes that the parachute plane's safety features and comparatively low price tag will reinvigorate a flagging small aircraft market that for amateur pilots, the security of a plane with a parachute will be worth the price. Mark Mullen, ABC News. That's all for this edition of the program. I'm